to your favorite kind of vlog. I've been in the habit of like traveling or doing life things and not vlogging because I feel like they're boring. But as a YouTube viewer, like I just love watching people's everyday life. So we are actually currently running late. I'm semi packing my bag and getting ready. But today we are actually going to Tasmania, which here is a map of Australia. It's just down the bottom of Australia. It's a state, right? But yeah, Tasmania is the state, Hobart is the capital. Let's hope I'm right. We're actually going for Kurt's brother's wedding, but it's like a four day or like five day kind of trip. All in all, my training routine has been so good lately. Like I've been doing some Instagram stories telling you guys how I feel like my body is really changing. I'm just loving my workouts and loving the routine that I'm in. I tried to go to the gym this morning, but I didn't really have time. Look, they're coming back. So I'm really really happy. We're staying in these tiny cabins. I'm pretty sure so I can't like go off to a gym or I don't think I have a lot of space. So I'm bringing two booty bands Well, one booty band. I'm doing a long thin band if I want to do some tricep extensions and things like that And then I'm bringing my ankle weights. I'm really into ankle weight workouts right now So I think that's all I'm going to bring and then everything else I can just do with my body weights But yeah, if I end up doing some workouts while we're away I'm gonna film them for you because I figured it would help you guys not only with traveling But just working out from home. We were supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago. Are you excited to go to Tasmania? You're gonna be good on the plane? Or are you gonna be grumpy bump and cry? That's the mic. He loves the mic. Oh, you're joking me. <laughs> We're literally in like the same outfit. We're lit this is the um the White Fox unisex no, mine's short sleeve. Long sleeve. We're all right. We're well, I was gonna wear the short sleeve, but I saw yours out. Like I saw that you were wearing that, yeah, so I was exactly. like, so you copied me. God, I, I knew it. No, no, my inspo was um, I think it's like Hailey Bieber. Like, let me show you, let me show you my outfit. I need my sunnies to get the full look. Tuck it a little bit. The black shoes, it's very like airport. Airport fashion, you know? Yeah. Airport fashion? Yeah. Nah, mate, you're crazy. I mean? No. Celebrity airport, you know, like black on black. Do you think it's cool? This is what I wear every day. So you're saying <laughs> that you look like a celebrity? Do, do you guys know what I mean? Like, I literally, I saw a picture of Hailey Bieber at the airport and I was like, that's the vibe I'm gonna go for. Packed a bunch of snacks for Fox. I am happy that I packed yesterday. Like, I packed everyone's suitcase, meaning Fox and I's suitcase. I'm pretty much ready we to go. Packed. Yesterday. No. No, you didn't. I packed all boxes. I packed mine and Fox's bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It was collaborative. <laughs> Such a crowd pleaser. <laughs> holds the headphones up off his head so they fit him better. Hey guys, uh, not a big deal. We just made it to Tasmania and we're just about to grab some dinner because it's like 5.30. But we went to check into our hotel <laughs> and Kurt booked the wrong day. So we were like, yeah, just checking in, Kurt Tills. He was like, yeah, nah, your dad's here. Like your dad has a booking, but you guys don't. Today's the 26th and we're supposed to stay here just one night. Kurt booked for the first, which is when we go home. It must've just been a lapse in memory. I've been traveling so, too much lately. Like, I don't know so what what anymore. we've just come to the restaurant here. We're trying to change Fox. Get him into some warmer clothes. It's freezing here. It's pretty cold and it's summer. Fox, it's like happy, but like- He's happy, he's boisterous. I think, you know what? When my little, my mum would say that my little sister would go really naughty and crazy when she ate Devon, which is kind of like ham. And we gave Fox ham before we took he's off. He's been feral ever since. He's been crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Like, he has so much energy. So yeah, we're gonna have some dinner, regroup, and work out where we're gonna sleep tonight. In the car. No. <laughs> There's these other accommodations. It's not the end whatever, of the world. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you when we are at said accommodation. The skinniest little staircase. It's like a little French house. Probably not, I've never been to France. In my last vlog I said, it's like Greece. Never been to Greece. I think this is our room. She messaged me saying we could have the room just with the queen bed. So this is that room. They're kind of eloping. It's like a planned elope. So they've just invited Kurt's family to come. We know because they wanted to prep us with Fox and everything, but we're going to like this deserted island or something. So everyone thinks we're just staying here for the whole week, but we're actually just staying here tonight and then going off. So, was that you funny? <laughs> Fart on me. See, see on me. That, this is what my life is like with boys now. You guys just fart. They take it in turns. They just fart. Yeah, the sun. 
I was gonna sign off until tomorrow, but this is too cute. Matching Mr. Fox. Yeah. And I feel so bad. Everyone always asks where they can get his from. Unfortunately, this was just like not a joke, but White Fox made this custom for us. But this one you can get. This one's called Cozy Fox, and it's a part of my yeah. pajama collection with White Fox Boutique. How cool would it be if we came out with baby ones? Like, look how snuggly he is. <laughs> you guys, Fox is not a cuddly baby at all. So honestly, you feel cuddle with me. Ready? Oh, this is not. Nice. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's a get off me. Not Can I just say, he's already almost your size. Yeah. Like this? You were in my belly. You're literally mum's half, half mum's size. You're going to be a big boy. Tech I hope you got the tall tilts, Jean. Me too. Uh, not the short Stevenson jeans. Kate and Kyle, who are getting married, their daughter is, I'm gonna say, eight months, Leilani. And so the last time they saw each other was Christmas. And they're both just too young, they didn't really care about each other. They're gonna be like boyfriend girlfriend style, but not because they're cousins, so that's weird. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Your little girlfriend's coming and she's gonna be your flower girl. She's gonna be your flower girl. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on last <laughs> it. Just hug me. Love me like I love you. It's embarrassing now that you are cuddle me. Ever. Come on. I sacrificed my body for you. Oh, that's nice. He's like <coughs> <laughs> Well, good morning, I guess. That happened Whoa, real quick. that happened real quick. So we basically got woken up to Kurt's mum knocking hey. on the door. So cute because she was in her fox pajamas as well. So <laughs> everyone came in and kind of just chilled on our bed, and it wasn't really appropriate to just like grab my vlogging camera because everyone was in their PJs and whatever. Kate and Kyle were like, "Okay, guys, we've got to pack up and go. We're gonna go meet at a cafe." So within like 15 minutes, everyone got changed, sharing one bathroom. We're in the car, all packed up, and now we're going to a cafe. And then I'm not sure what the plan is. my life parking tickets okay we're in Hobart and they only have half an hour parking on the street what the heck was just that yeah how are you supposed to eat your breakfast they don't even have that in Cronulla that's why we don't leave Cronulla <laughs> we never leave Cronulla from now on oh guess how much it is oh what a hundred dollars 40 bucks what 40 bucks <laughs> total payable 40 bucks that's a bargain <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up for another. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I feel like this whole vlog so far has just been like us jumping in and out of the car. In the car, traveling around, but that's kind of what today is. Today's a travel day. We just did a Woolies run, like a grocery run. Where we're going, it's like isolated, okay. but Kate, the bride, kind of planned the dinners and things like that. And she was like, look, Sarah, I don't really know what's gluten and what's not. Like, if you're not gluten free, I get it. It's really hard to understand. I went into Woolies and I got a few random staple things like eggs. I got some chicken burgers and hemp burgers in case I couldn't eat the patties that she got. We literally spent like an hour at Woolies going back and forth and everyone was kind of confused and getting their own snacks. Food is a personal thing, even like your grandparents. I ran into your pop in there and he was like, do they have peanuts on the list? I was like, I don't think they do. I was like, maybe you should go get your own. He's like, we need peanuts. <laughs> and we're like, full steam ahead, went to the peanut aisle and was like getting peanuts. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, but I like it. It's nice, it's a nice vibe here in Tasmania. We're driving for the next two hours until we get to this dock. And then we've got to get on a boat. What a trek. We're embracing it. Since I was little, whenever I go on road trips, I just complain. Like, I just don't like sitting in a car. I'm just too hyperactive for it. And so is Kurt. So we're like, our backs, our butts. Anyway, we've been traveling for two days, but I promised Kurt that I would be like positive and a good vibe. So we've been playing. She hasn't been. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. She's I've... been grumpy. No, I haven't. Sad. No. There was tears. There was tears. <laughs> Not from me, from Bob. <laughs> I've been playing Would You Rather. I've been snacking. It's too late now to turn around and back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best you know the worst Oh, 
was intense. Don't know where our baby is. No, just kidding. Kurt's mum has him. These are so cute. I don't know if I explained it, but I think we're here for like four days. And then they are going to get married on like the best weather day. There's one bathroom for everyone. And there's like 10 people or something. Oh, that's cute. I'm not complaining. I'm still positive. <laughs> He has no pants. You have good pants? Welcome to our bedroom. It's like 8 o'clock. Here's the hard thing. Like, we are scheduled people. Specifically me and Fox. Like, Fox is a routine baby. And it's not like... Yeah, no, to be, I do make an effort. He is a routine baby and it's good like that. Like he knows when dinner time is, he has his naps, he sleeps really good now, he sleeps through the whole night. Like he's awesome on routine. So when we do different things, he like, he doesn't freak out. He just gets really tired and really overwhelmed. So it's like two hours past his bedtime. Now he's wired anyway. We went up to that main common area and we had spaghetti bolognese. We just had to shower him and everything. Yeah, so the shower situation is, is up past the main common area. The, the yeah. bathroom is 50 meters away and the there's like 10 of us plus two babies sharing one bathroom, one shower. But the shower is in with the toilet. So we were like trying to shower Fox. I was like standing there with a the towel, but you can't put him on the floor anywhere. Cause there's it's no, like, like, there's no bench. There's no like change table. This is like glamping, right? Yeah. I feel like we're camping. It's got a similar vibe to it. Yeah. But Fox and Leilani love each other now, which is amazing. <laughs> Everyone's having a great time. The most important thing to me is that Kate and Kyle have a good time. Cause they're the bride and groom. This is their vision. This is their dream. I want them to have a good time. And I feel like they are. Like, I feel like they're really relaxed up there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is how the night went. Exactly how I look right now. That was one of the toughest nights I think we've ever had with Fox. I don't even know what the time was. So, like, we put him in the cot. We went out and chilled with everyone in the nighttime, and he was fine, and he slept. We snuck back in here, and he didn't wake up. We got into bed, and it was all fine. And then I'm going to guess it was around, like, 2 a.m.? Nah, it was 4.50. And he woke up, like, traumatized crying. Like, so upset. We brought him into our bed and we tried to cuddle him and he was pushing us off like he didn't even want to cuddle. <coughs> so we were like, look, we'll just go make him a bottle. But that was the hard thing. Kurt had to get changed, walk all the way in the dark up to that share house thing. But there's no kettle, like no proper kettle. You have to get the water and heat it up over the stove. Oh. So anyway, we did that. And he smashed it, right? We he smashed it. So he's so quick. As in drank it. And then he started crying again. We are like, oh my gosh, he needs more milk. He had to do the exact same thing and he drank the milk and fell asleep. But even like in between us, he just like rocks around and he's like so hard to sleep next to. Ooh. I don't know what the plan is today. They're not getting married today. We know that much. I need to move my body. So I want to do some kind of movement, whether it's just like a stretch. We can't really go on a hike because this island is very little. Yeah, it takes like five minutes to walk. Five minute hike? <gasps> yeah. Woo! Oh, there you are. Ah. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Good daddy for getting up in the middle of the night and making yeah. that. Damn straight. He better come mountain biking with me when he's older. Yeah, you remember this, Fox? You remember what we did for you? You mountain go mountain biking, biking with your dad and you come smoking. on brunch dates with mum and hold my hand yeah. in public. You will have public. baby chinos. <laughs> and you will like them. <laughs> <laughs> you will like them. I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. It's like 12 o'clock now, and this morning we just had coffee and chill it out. The babies played upstairs, but now everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Vanessa and Kyle are over there doing some fishing. Parents are just reading a book. I have no idea what Kurt's doing. Everyone's just kind of chilling out. I just need to move, you know what I mean? Like Fox is in our room napping, so while he's napping, I may as well sit here and just kind of keep an eye on him. And I think I'm just gonna do a really low key, easy stretch kind of Pilates workout. On this trip, I wanna work out for the right reasons, not because I wanna be shredded or I want my body to look a certain way. I just love the mental aspect of working out and how I feel afterwards and even how my digestion feels after I train. So this is not gonna be an intense workout. It's mostly just gonna be like booty pulses and some ab stuff. To ensure that I actually do this properly, I'm just gonna set a timer. I'm using my SESI timer. There's like a bunch of different preset timers here. I think I'm gonna do toning power, which makes sense because it's a toning workout. And this requires three different supersets. You do each exercise for one minute, which is good because when I'm just using my body weight and I'm doing like pulses and things like that, you can do it for a minute. We'll see how I go. Set timer. Took the highs with the lows. Now I'm living my life and I'm doing 
just fine Had a moment where I didn't know I Now I'm taking my time and I'm doing just fine Seriously, the best booty burner. Variations of hip thrusts with the booty band. <sighs> and then with the single leg extensions, make sure you're trying to keep your hips and your pelvis as still as possible. If you're rocking from side to side, it kind of defeats the purpose of the exercise. That is a full body workout because when you're lying down, you want to engage your entire core and keep it nice and still. Get your feet in nice and tight and try to keep it still and don't rock to the side. And then if you want to mix it up, you can go on your toes and try to do the same thing. It really fires up your hamstrings. So I think I'm just gonna have a little stretch now. That wasn't very long at all, it was like 20 minutes, but I just feel so much better just from moving a little bit and being out in the sun and just not sitting all day, you know what I mean? It is so beautiful here though. Oh, she's got your phone. Be careful, Auntie. Nah, she won't oh, break it. Oh. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, it's bright. Go get in line, go get in. <laughs> That's a big smile, Foxy. Mommy, take it. Hi Leilani, welcome back to my channel. Do you upload every three days? Not anymore. Hello. This camera's so good. Say hello. hello. Katie's gonna do a dance for us. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> One. Yeah, before it was just like stretching a Pilates. Are you gonna do it with us? No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go for a, a oh. run around the island, first of all. We're gonna do a workout. I don't care about the workout, I just don't wanna sit, you know? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, mama. Go down there. Down there? Yep, run. These could have my time. <laughs> Come on, go. <sighs> Can you imagine Vanessa as a trainer? Yeah. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> run, run. All right, let's go. Oh, yes. Run again. I hate run running. Yeah. I can see him. I can see him. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yeah. Come on! Last up! Yes! Running. Yeah, Vanessa, you've got to trademark this. <laughs> What's it called, Vanessa? This is called the awkward turtle. Boys, <laughs> he's ready for bed. He's just the best. I love when he's like this. So rare, he gets a cuddle in. Suspension legs. Say, so you have to walk when you have a baby ready. Okay, it's day three on the island. Technically, our second day, but it is the wedding day. Ta-da! We made it! We made it back to shore! <laughs> is that funny, is it? We made it! We made it! Here we are, here we are, we're gonna shower and... 
how are you feeling though? All excited. Are you? I'm nervous about saying my vows. <laughs> I, no, that's fair. <laughs> In front of people. Do you feel like it's your wedding? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've been married to Carl in my mind for years. I, I feel like the first time somebody's like, I have to introduce him as my husband, I'll be like, that's big deal. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh, oh, the no. flower girl and the... What is he, a ring bearer? Ring yeah. bearer. It's almost the moment. We're all wearing no shoes. Oh, wait, we're not it's meant okay. to be wearing shoes. I'm not wearing I'm shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. No, you are because you're the photographer and you'll have to be I'll in be the shrubbery. I'll do in the bushes. Oh, is. Catherine is injured. But still looking glamorous. <laughs> Every mother, 2020. <laughs> Princess Catherine in her chariot. Woohoo! <laughs> And I don't wanna be sitting alone in a room that just filled with my soul. And so I came to this place. I'm looking for a familiar face, and that's when I saw you. This is the ugliest outro. I've ever seen. P.S. How do people edit like this? You know, like DJs, they do it over, over their hood. I've never seen anyone do that. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Like. No, I haven't. What? It's always under the hood, mate. I no, don't know. it doesn't. It doesn't fit. If that looks dumb, then looks like you have a big wide head. Maybe they do then. <laughs> no, it's no discreet. You don't see it then. <laughs> <laughs> no one does that, but you know what everyone does. What does everyone do? Snacks. You probably are like, what's the context of this right now? What's going on? You're not in Tasmania anymore. Are my lips purple? A uh, little bit. I just had lots of blueberries. I forgot to film an outro from that Tasmania. This is the Tasmania vlog out. I know, we're hopeless. <laughs> but right now we're still not home. We're not back in our apartment. This was kind of like the travel month for us. And in terms of travel, it's kind of like family holidays. We're on a different holiday now. But Tasmania was so much fun. Um, Kate and Kyle had a really good time and that's really what I cared about. For the last few weeks, I've just been trying to maintain my results because like I said, I feel like my body is finally changing now that I'm not breastfeeding anymore. I feel like things are changing mm -hmm. and I love my workout routine, but it's so hard yeah. to not just snack. Like, yeah, especially I've eaten so rubbish while, like, while we've been away, like so bad. But eats you look good at the moment. You actually do. You don't have to say no, that. No, no, no. I'm not just saying that because the camera's rolling. Like, yeah, I feel like you actually do look really good at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, and your training's like, you look good My in training's the gym. been pretty yeah. good. You guys will hear an update in this, like, we're filming as we speak for a different yeah. vlog. We're filming <laughs> Huskerson vlog. So I'll give you guys an update then as to, like, what my workout routine looks like because I've had so many questions. But just in terms of food, we know me and Kurt are different. Totally like, I love fine. ice cream. He loves ice oh. cream. See, whereas me, I find it really easy to eat healthy, but, like, I eat, like, Huge she eats like the same portions as me. No more. Nah. Like no, no. You no, eat anyway, regardless of how much you eat. You yeah. eat so much. That's my thing. That's why I have to work out hard because I just eat like a freaking horse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling because that's why you run like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what? They they race them. They run. You say I'm fast. Oh no, you're not fast. What you you just mean? your run. body runs like a horse. Oh, they meant like because you're slow at running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Yay. sorry if I'm slow because I was literally like picking photos on the couch before. I, I, was, <laughs> I swear I was falling. I was doing this. You know when you start like nodding off? Whenever I'm like, oh Kurt, you're in my outro. He's always half I'm asleep. Always, and he's oh. like, and people, like really? and then people are like, what's wrong with Kurt? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm happy. I'm just tired. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this vlog, which was super random, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a like because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos mm. every single week. And we have really exciting videos coming. And we'll see you in this next vlog, which is this holiday right here. Peace. Bye.